The Callaway Jaws Raw Wedges boast the most aggressive grooves in golf. Thomas and I got a chance to test them out today and find out exactly what that means. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We're outside on the driving range today and we got a chance to test some new wedges from Callaway, the Jaws Raw. And Thomas, these things are, are different. They're unique from past Callaway wedges for a number of reasons, but uh, for me, I think what stands out is that look of the raw face and those very sharp grooves. Right, and it's not so much just the look of the raw face, but what that entails, what mm -hmm. that allows. What it's gonna do is it's gonna expose more of the organic finish to, yep. a, to a wedge, rather than having a plate on the wedge, yep. um, which in sense is gonna generate more spin, more interaction. It's gonna rust. It's not gonna be the rust that's gonna cause the spin, it's gonna be the raw face. Right, exactly. So you mentioned the raw face, um, and like you said, it, it, it provides more friction, right, for that spin. Um, because there's no plating on top of it, it's just that raw finish. Uh, but then what also Callaway has done in past wedges that they've also implemented here is groove and groove technology which is essentially those, those micro grooves in between the larger grooves are offset at a different angle. So what that does is uh, really increases that interaction between the ball and that wedge face to allow for more spin. And also this is new this year is tungsten in that wedge to really uh, kind of provide that central center of gravity location uh, for better field control, things like that. So uh, those are those key features, of course. And then the last thing as a club fit I'm sure you're excited about is all of those grind options and those loft options. Right, well, there's an extra grind option, but the nice thing with, with that groove and groove uh, technology is some of these grinds allow you to open and close the club face. Mm -hmm. When you open and close that club face, it's gonna make it so much easier to get most of the ball hitting those grooves to generate more spin. Right. But I did mention there is a new grind this year. It is the Z grind. So mm -hmm. Callaway is going to have four grinds. They've got the Z, the S, the W, and the X grind. Mm -hmm. So moving down those grinds, that S grind, uh, we'll kind of go through this at the end of the video as well, but that S grind is for those standard square kind of full shots. That W grind is the widest one, a little bit more forgiveness there and kind of help on those maybe fluffy lies or that thick grass. Um, that X grind is going to really help golfers that have a steep angle of attack. And then that Z grind, as we'll really highlight today too, really helps you opening that face a little bit. So um, hitting those kind of maybe thin lie shots. So, well, Thomas, you want to get some shots? Yeah, let's go test some shots. Let's test, test some 100 yard wedge shots, yep. some bunker shots, some flop shots, and some pitch shots, and Perfect. see how that ball reacts. All right, so Thomas, full shots. Um, I've got about eight shots here, seven shots, excuse me, uh, of your kind of full, maybe 100 yard wedge shot here. Um, and it's actually impressive how tight your dispersion was, how tight your carry distance uh, deviation was. But I think the spin is what really jumped out to you as someone who doesn't usually spin the ball a ton. Yeah, and yeah, I'm definitely not a person that's gonna be 10,000 RPMs plus when I've got a wedge in my hand. And I think I was what, 10,300 mm -hmm. on average. Yep. And it was giving us that kind of that the drop and stop. So it basically was taking one bounce and then kind of stopping. Actually, yeah. there's a couple of shots where the ball actually spawned back just a little bit. Yeah. We were fighting a little bit of a crosswind, so yeah. it was kind of pushing a little to the right. But you could definitely see that I was generating spin. So mm -hmm. I love that when I was hitting that 58 degree wedge yeah. from 100 yards. And it's funny because you mentioned, you know, you, you bright laser it to the pin, it was 100 yards. And it's funny that your average carry distance is 101 yards and your total distance is 101.6. So. Uh, pretty dialed in and you have a pretty consistent deviation. You can see the dispersion there is really tight. So yep. a lot of control with those wedges. Uh, talk about the feel now. So um, with that raw wedge or that, excuse me, that raw finish and kind of that, that forged body. So uh, how does that feel uh, maybe compared to other wedges you've played? Or yeah, I mean, at least? it feels soft and responsive. Yeah. So I mean, off the face, I, I could feel the ball was definitely spinning and I was, I was hitting a three quarter Degree, I was basically hitting my 1030 swing with a 58. Okay. And if I'm kind of crossed a little bit, I'm going to generate a little bit of spin. I could just feel off the face that I know, hey, that's that's got some spin on it. And it was mm -hmm. fun to see the ball kind of bounce around the hole a couple of times yeah. and look like this one that, from our view, looked like it almost spun back in the hole, but it yeah. might might have been pretty close. So, yeah, it felt really good. 
Uh, mm. I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I felt really good. I, w when I was testing here, I was using the darker finish, I believe it's called the Raw Black Plasma. Mm -hmm. Looking down at it, there was definitely no shine on it at all. Yeah. So it looked pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a clean, very clean looking club. Yeah, and on the raw chrome finish too, that they've they've muted the toe as well, so there is no glare when you're looking down at it, uh, especially from that toe. I know with like the classic, you know, maybe past models, you've seen that that glare uh, there. But also other shots that you hit. So you know, wide shots are not just that full hundred yard shot. Uh, you were in the bunker, you hit like a pitch shot from probably thirty to forty yards, and yep. you also hit kind of a open face, you know, flop if you would. So let's start with that pitch shot. That was kind of the first one that you I'm hit. Grab this, um, yeah, grab the wedge for me and, and showcase kind of what is unique about that grind. Cause you had the Z grind, I believe. And you were really, you kind of needed to almost nip that one a little bit off kind of a thin lie. So uh, talk to me about that grind there. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, looking down at it. I, I love the camber here. So when I'm sitting this thing down on the ground like it just seems so easy regardless of where that face is a little open or if that square mm -hmm. for it to sit flush to the ground yeah. i know i'm gonna make good contact very very unique I, I really like this 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 camber on the front side it's got a little bit on the back side too but this this little sharp little cut off edge edge here it just makes it so much easier to sit that ground that club flush to the ground regardless of the face is open right. or, or closed or square sure sure yeah. so now and from that point, you, we kind of went over to the bunker, hit some greenside bunker shots. Um, you used that W grind too. So talk to me about your experience at, uh, hitting that greenside bunker shot. Yeah, it was definitely a lot more bounce. Yeah. Um, the, the, the W grind, we had some rain here yesterday. So I, I was, uh, we, Sam was still kind of wet. Yeah. So I wanted to try it out and it was easy to get through. It's a very forgiving wedge. It's gonna be for golfers that kind of, just kind of more of a, a basic square face kind of player yeah um looking for a little bit more forgiveness out of the sand or out of even softer turf as well yeah this seemed like it was gliding through the ground pretty pretty well yeah and lastly that this last shot you hit was kind of that up and over the sand um with wind behind you and then green running hard away from you so that yep. was actually a really tough shot we kind of put you in um talk to me about your experience with that one you had to kind of open the face there a little bit too yeah so i went back to the the z grind and same thing here it's 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 so easy to open the face and i mean i was able to get that thing to kind of pop up in the air and just kind of trickle towards the hole even put myself on a couple of downhill slopes and yeah. really open that face up and it was pretty it was pretty pretty responsive off the off the turf i felt pretty good about it felt really really excellent not gonna lie this is a pretty unique wedge and i'm a little surprised that they've kept it for the tour players for so long. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so Thomas, we've completed testing here. Uh, before we kind of get into maybe our who's at four section, just give me kind of your final takeaways, hitting various shots with you know various lofts and, and grinds of the Jaws raw wedges. Yeah, I mean, looking down, regardless of whether it's the Chrome Jaws um, raw finish yeah. or it's the Black Plasma finish, they both look really, really good. I'll say even the the raw finish, it doesn't have much of a shine on the face, yeah. so it doesn't have any glare at all, which is, which is awesome. Um, feels really, really responsive off the face, nice and soft. I feel like I can create a multitude of different shots around the green, mm -hmm. and that's when it comes down to you, you're talking about these grinds and who who they're really for. Right, right. So we we can start with that S grind, I think, because that's gonna be maybe one of the most popular ones. You have lofts from 48 to 60 on that one, so really all the way across the board, any player can put this in their bag, uh, but really for that square face shot. Yep, and S square face, exactly yeah. what you said there. It's, it's gonna be the more balanced wedge for really most golfers mm -hmm. that you know aren't opening and closing the face for every single shot around the green. Yeah, and that W grind, kind of similar. A lot of uh, golfers will fit into it. A little bit more forgiveness with that wider sole. Yep, once again, wider sole and then more bounce is gonna be more friendlier to those players playing a little bit, uh, a little bit more damper or, or softer turf. Yeah or having a little steeper attack angle. Yeah, and speaking of a steeper attack angle, one of the specialty grinds is that X grind. So it's a little bit wider, even built a little bit more for those steeper attack angles, a little bit more bounce there as well. So uh, definitely designed for those players that come in really steep, take those big divots. That's where that X grind will come in and that Z grind is the one that you love so much. Both of these, the X and the Z are 58 and 60 only. So again, specialty grinds, but that Z grind you, you really liked. Yeah, I mean, even the X grind has got a lot of heel and toe relief as yeah. well. So it allows you to open and close the club face up with that, with more bounce. But then you're talking about the Z grind and it, I really like, you know, if I was going to be grinding wedges for myself, yeah. this is kind of what I would want to do on the, on the front of, of this camber. I would love to grind off a little bit to allow me to open and close the club face 
Yeah. Who doesn't like to hit a flop shot off tight right. lies, right? Oh, yeah. Well, now you can. Now you can hit a flop shot off a very, very tight lie and get that club interaction with the ball to make it perfect. Right, right. Well, you've heard it here, golfers. Uh, Thomas Campbell stamp of approval is right there. Callaway Jaws, raw wedges. Uh, great set of wedges from Callaway. You got unique grooves, most aggressive grooves in golf. In a matter of fact so uh, if you're interested in these wedges you can stop into second swing store you can schedule a fitting with one of our master fitters or you can shop at secondswing.com so thomas thanks for joining today uh, hitting all the shots giving your feedback i think these will be really good here in 2022.